Hi. I am Andrew at Control C. In this session, I shall show you how to configure and host the EBO OPC client in the EBO workstation. First, we will open the EBO workstation. In this example, we are using EBO 2022. Let's create a new object. Let's click on Server 1. Then we should right-click and then click on the new object menu. Let's choose Interface and then Web Service. Now we should choose EcoStructure Web Service. Let's choose a name for this new interface. For example, EBO OPC Client. Now let's click on the Edit in Wizard button. In the EWS Server field, we should enter localhost. The port number should be 5300. In the username and password fields, we should use the username and password that can be found in the Smart Connector local portal. Let's click on the Create and Edit button. We should change the value poll interval from the default of 60 to the required value. In our example, I will set it to 1 second. In addition, we should disable alarm polling. Let's click on the Save button. Now, we need to host this EWS server in the EBO. Let's click on Hardware. Under EcoStructure Web Services, we shall see the EBO OPC client. Beneath it, we can see the Smart Connector object. Using the right-click menu and then click on Host EWS Objects. Click on the Select button. Now, we can see that a new object called EBO PC Client was created at the bottom of the EBO tree. When we browse this tree, we can see its groups and OPC items. Let's select the desired items and drag them into the watch pane. Now we can see the OPC server's values displayed in the EBO. OPC connectivity also allows EBO users to modify OPC values. Thank you for watching.